everyone, Jennifer here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some of my very favorite fall makeup and show you my everyday fall makeup routine. A lot of the times I do these makeup tutorial videos on the Daily Connoisseur that are more complicated um, because my everyday makeup routine, my no makeup look, is super simple and it usually takes me about three minutes to do. So on the channel I tend to like to show you more complicated looks for evening or that type of thing. But today we're just going to talk about the everyday. And so through this video I'm going to share with you some of my favorite finds for fall. Some of them are kind of unusual. Well, one in particular. Um, and let's get started with the matte foundation that I have been loving. So I think for fall and winter, it's wonderful to have a matte foundation. A lot of the times in spring, summer, we want our skin to be luminous and glowing. And in fall, winter, we like a more matte look. And I have mentioned in a previous video that I found this Perfection Lumiere Velvet by Chanel. You know I love Chanel makeup, particularly their foundation. And so I tried this back in September when I was looking for makeup to do for my TEDx talk because I was going to be on stage with you know, lots of lights on me and I did not want to be shiny. And I tell you, I am always shiny <laughs> in pictures, on stage, just shiny. And I know that many of you can commiserate with me. So I went to the Chanel counter and I told them my woe story about being shiny all the time. And they highly recommended this. And this is a relatively new foundation for them. This foundation is unique in that it is an SPF, so it has SPF 15. You have to shake it before you use it. So you shake it left and right, and then you apply some on your hands, and you must apply this with your hands. So don't use a beauty blender, don't use a brush or a sponge or any other form of application. It's meant to go on your hands. And you'll notice that when you dot it on your skin and you start to rub it in, it almost becomes like a powder and it seems to suck out any shininess that would otherwise be there. And it's, it's wonderful. It's fluid, it's flawless. I love this foundation. I highly recommend it. I know that it is very pricey. So if any of you have any matte foundations that are less expensive, even like drugstore varieties, please let us know in the comment section below for people who are looking for a really affordable brand. But I can recommend this if you're looking for a high-end one, and these foundations, for me anyway, tend to last a really long time. So I really highly recommend Perfection Lumiere Velvet. Applied my foundation, I've applied some spot concealer and under eye concealer, and I've set it all with a powder and I've used Makeup Forever's HD powder but you can use whatever you already have. I like to have stronger brows in fall and winter so I've uh, made my brow a little bit thicker and I've used the Sephora eyebrow editor which I use a lot in my videos. Okay so now to continue my everyday makeup look I normally just wear mascara so I'm going to curl my eyelashes with three pumps. So here's the exciting product that I was going to tell you about. This is YSL's mascara, and this is the Volume Effect Faux Cli. So it has the effect of fake lashes. And the thing that's unusual about it is that this mascara is actually burgundy. It's not black, it's not brown, it's burgundy. And I heard about it from a few different people. I don't know if you can tell the color from the camera. But I'll put it on my hand and you can see this is what it looks like. So I have green hazelish eyes so I heard that if you use a burgundy mascara that it really brings your eye color out and I tried it and it's true it's really amazing plus it looks completely natural talk about a no makeup look effect it really just doesn't look like you're wearing mascara, but that your eyes are really open. So I also think that this would be pretty with any eye color, especially blue, or even if you have a rich brown. Now I need to get the mascara off my hand. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so I have curled my lashes, now I'm going to apply this mascara. They have other colors as well. I'm not sure what those would look like if they would look as natural. And don't be afraid, I first thought before I put this on that I was going to look sort of freakish with, you know, lashes that just did not go with my natural coloring. But you really can't tell. It, they just look like the dark brown lashes that I already have. 
but there is just a slight hue and that really brings out the eye color, which is so nice. So, okay, I have it on this eye and not on this eye. I'm hoping that the camera picks it up. A little bit underneath as well. Got some on my upper lid. I'm just going to get that with a Q-tip here. Ah. Okay, so this is what the eyes look like with this burgundy mascara on. As you can see, it looks completely natural. It doesn't look like, um, oh, I have red eyelashes or anything, which would not go with my countenance. So I usually just do that, and then all I do is blush after that. I'm be using this plum blush from Hourglass in mood exposure. I've used this a lot and this is a really nice fall color. Now for some reason the camera setting on this, which I shoot on food and fashion, makes this blush really stand out on my cheeks. It doesn't look like that in real life, it's just the camera setting. So you can barely see the hue of plum on my cheeks. Now for my lips. This is a drugstore product that I discovered by chance and it's um, from L'Oreal Paris and it's called Infallible Lip Color and I saw the packaging and I thought it looked pretty interesting. So what this is is a lip stain basically that literally lasts all day. I mean it lasts like 12 hours. I'm not exaggerating through food, through drinks, through everything. So if you're interested in that, in one that actually works, in one that doesn't actually fade from the middle of your lip, as a lot of them do, this is great. And it was from the drugstore, L'Oreal Paris. So I got this in Mulberry. And here's what you do. You apply it on your lips. There's a two-part system, as you'll see. So you apply the lip stain on your lips. And you can, you can fix it if it goes over. Okay, and now you just let this sit for two minutes. And at the end of the two minutes, you get this moisturizing stick, which I'll show you looks like this. It's really like a lip balm. And you apply it over it, but you have to let this dry. And this keeps your lips nice and moist. So I'll come back to you in two minutes. Okay, it's two minutes later and I'm going to apply this lip balm over it. So the color really does last a long time. You've got to try it, it's really great. L'Oreal Paris Infallible. I love when I find something from the drugstore that is really wonderful. So that's pretty much my everyday fall makeup look. I use a matte, either foundation or I try to use a BB cream with a matte finishing powder. Do my brows pretty strongly, mascara, blush, and lip balm, and that's it. This is the everyday no makeup look that I use in the fall. Now, if you have time and you want to bump it up a little bit, you can always apply eyeshadows. And so I have a few eyeshadows here that are great for fall. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I always get these wrong, so I'll stand up. But this color here, Toasted, is a great color for fall, along with this one as well, Hustle. Actually, all of these colors are really good for fall. Um, so this is a great palette. Urban Decay has really good eyeshadows. And also, two other shadows that I like to use are by MAC, and this one is Bamboo. This is the matte shadow that I used, I think, in my last uh, Get Ready With Me video. And this is a burgundy color called Foley. And this actually would probably look good with the uh, mascara. I'm going to put this on right now <laughs> just to see what it looks like. So yeah, if you have a few more moments and you'd like to wear eyeshadow, you could try it. I've already applied the um, primer potion, which I always use if I ever use an eyeshadow. So. I'm just going to apply this lightly to the bottom. And on the other side as well. It's tricky doing this when you've already applied your mascara. I don't recommend it. 
even go underneath a little bit. Taking a blending brush, I would just blend it out so that it's a nice fade out. I love having a rich makeup look in the fall. Okay, so there you go. That's if you want to add a little bit of shadow. Of course, you could take it further and add eyeliner if you like, or you could do eyeliner and no shadow. You know, the, the choice is yours, and that's what I love truly about doing my makeup every morning. I get to choose which story I want to tell. There you go. So that is an easy everyday fall makeup look using some unusual products. The Burgundy Mascara is definitely one of my favorites. And I love that matte foundation by Chanel. It is so amazing. Perfection Lumiere Velvet. On my nails is Dior's Incognito, which is a fantastic neutral shade. Great for any time of year, really, but really lovely in the fall as well. There you go. That is my everyday fall Leno makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you try any of these products, or if you have any recommendations of your own, leave them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag Leno makeup look if you're talking about it on social media. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.